Okay, this is a property tour for our latest semi-detached house that's uh, available on the market. Property's on Fir Tree Avenue on the trees uh, down in uh, Tyre Hill, just off Broad Lane, Beach Tree Avenue way. Um, it's an extended four bedroom semi-detached house, which you can probably see from the, uh, the roof window upstairs. It has had the loft conversion done. Um, decent driveway, obviously you've got a little length that goes down towards the garage there. There's some further space for you to park some cars off road as well too. But let's get you inside here just to show you around. Now, prior to uh, coming into this property, there were, uh, was something I wanted to relay. Oops, apologies for slamming the door. Relay across to yourselves. Um, is that the property itself is owned by a gentleman now who's moved out to live with family. So they are in the process of clearing parts of the house. Um, so on the actual main property details, um, with this room here, obviously you can see with the lounge, this is where they've got most of the stuff that they are in the middle of sort of clearing. Um, this will obviously all be emptied, but um, they've asked us to put the property on now while they're in the middle of getting the rest of the stuff cleared. So there is no photograph of the actual living room, just because of all the stuff that's still in there. But here is some video footage of it. So obviously you can see you've got a window to the front. Um, there's the storage driver side of the chimney breast as well. And the actual room measurements uh, will be available on the details themselves too. Um, so with the main hallway itself, we've got the stairs that go up uh, upstairs from there, obviously. But um, we've got the storage recess that is down below where you've got your telephone points and everything as well. That leads directly through into the kitchen. Now with this space that's here, it's um, the property itself is quite good because you do have a lot of potential. Even though there's work that has been done and it has been extended, there is still further potential for more works to be done if required. Um, I mean, if you wanted to lose the driveway space, which is just to the side over there, you could potentially look at extending out to make your kitchen a bit bigger. Um, you could knock through that doorway there uh, is into the utility area. Um, and obviously you've then got a dining room and a sitting room uh, that are just to the side that I'll show you shortly as well. So with the kitchen, it's got the base and eye level units, as you can see just there. There's some of this down there. Uh, sink integrated cooker with electric hover and your extractor canopy there is a door i should say as well that does come across here which you can just see from here i've left it open just for the purposes of the video to help me walk around uh, nice and easy um this is a utility area again there's some bits that have been left behind um that are going to be cleared out from here but you've got your utility which does have space for an upright fridge freezer just in there this little section here is where you've got your space and plumbing for your washing machine. Where they've got that under counter fridge with the shelving over the top, it is just literally there for a bit of storage at the moment. But that is a back door uh, that goes out to your garden. We then have the wet room, which with this, it does have the shower that's in there. It's got the uh, non slip floor and the safety floor and it's in there. Fully tiled everywhere else. And it does have your toilet and sink too. Pop that on the top as I go to save the extractor running. Let's go back through the kitchen. I'm going to take you into the dining area and the sitting room as well too. And again, without the uh, the risk of sounding a bit like a broken record repeating myself, there are bits in here that will be cleared. Um, but obviously, it's the space in here which is a really good amount of space. Just trying to get everybody in there itself as well. So with this as your dining room, some people you know prefer to have this as the living room. It's a much better view to be. Uh, looking out onto your back garden. You've got the archway then that goes through to your sitting room. Both rooms I should point out as well too. There's your radiator just to that side there. There's another radiator here as well too. And a further one just there. So this is going to be a very warm uh, room. And I can imagine, you know, during the winter it would be nice and cosy. During the summer it would be lovely to have those double doors open so you can just sort of go in and out to the back garden. So let's go upstairs now because we've got bedrooms over two floors. I'll take you out to the garden as soon as I finish from uh, that section there. Let's go and take you up the stairs. There's a lot of stairs here today, so I'm going to be getting a uh, decent workout going up and down the stairs. Got to get your workout in while gyms and that are all closed. So here's the first floor landing. If I try and uh, get an angle so you can sort of appreciate what's been done in here. So there are the stairs I've just come up, obviously just to that side there you can see the stairs then that do go up uh, to the second floor. Um, I'll start off with the bathroom, should have left the light on actually, it's a little bit grey out there today. But with the bathroom as you can see here, they've got the bath, there is a toilet, 
just behind the door here, you've got a shower cubicle. And if I close that door, you can actually see it's all been done properly. There's lots of room, lots of space as I do a quick spin around here. There's your towel rail and also your sink as well too. So it is, it's a decent sized bathroom. Um, it's got the full four piece suite in here with sink, toilet, uh, bath and shower. I'm gonna come back out from here now. Just do another quick spin. Uh, this is um, bedroom three. We've classed it out. And again, the weather's gone really great. So I'm just gonna turn the light on just to try and out. About five minutes ago, it was really bright. Now it's gone great. Looks like it's about to rain. Um, so with this room here, double room, you get a double bed into it quite easy. There's your radiator underneath uh, the window. There's your airing cupboard. Obviously there's me. It wouldn't be the same without me popping up in a mirror in a video somewhere. Boiler's tucked into here. It's a valent boiler, combination boiler. I'm going to show you the other rooms as well. So as we come to this side here, back out to the landing. This is bedroom two, it would have formerly have been the master bedroom prior to the, uh, the loft being done. And with this one again, you can get a double bed in, that's clearly a single bed, but you could fit a double bed into here itself as well too. Um, you've got the range of fitted wardrobes that go all the way across. I'm not going to open those just in case anything falls out, but there is the full range of windows and it's got one of those really nice window seats as well too, just there. So you can have a sit down while you're getting yourself ready, convert it, turn it into a makeup room, a makeup room, makeup table or a dressing area and stuff. The potential is actually just there. This is the smallest room stroke office space. I'm going to open that door there. Now you've got cupboard space. Uh, just over the top here, uh, obviously for putting things in. There is some shelving. They've got a single bed that's in here as well too. Um, as I say, it could be a bedroom. As you can see, it's uh, you can get a bed in there for definite, but it would also work quite well as an office with the storage and stuff that's available as well. Right, to go and take you up to second floor. I'm gonna get to the top of the stairs. Just have a quick spin around. All right, so that's the stairs going back down. When you actually look at it from this angle, it does actually seem quite high, but it's not too bad. Um, they've got a storage cupboard in here, which does has the fuse board itself as well too, uh, for the electrics up here. And this is the master bedroom. Flick a light up. So with the master bedroom, I'll start from this side here. And you can get a double bed in just here to the side. I'll try and angle my phone a little bit more to go to that side. Um, you can see the shelving units uh, that are integrated in. Obviously there's some that's built in around there too. There is a double bed, gas central heating radiator, double glazed window overlooking the rear garden, which if I bring you out over to here, you'll be able to see. There's the, the garage, the yours, and the rest of the garden as well, but I'll show you that properly when we get outside. And then here is the ensuite. So with that, you've got your sink, toilet, and shower cubicle. All decorated nicely as well too. There is a window just there. I must have left that closed. There's me again in the mirror. Um, but there's your window as well too, so it can let some light in. And then try and get the rest of the room in from there. So you've got another little storage recess just down there that goes into Eve storage. If I angle the camera down to this way. Really good use of light actually, just over that window there to see it get really dark. But as you can see, you've got some uh, storage just there. Further storage uh, just at the back of there as well too. And so just give you that quick spin around again, just to give you an idea of the size of the room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video now because I'm sure that I could think of much more entertaining things to do than uh, take you on a walk down two flights of stairs and out into the back garden. And I'll carry on filming when I get down there. Okay, right. So carry on with the tour. I can manage to get back down all the stairs. So let's take you out into the back garden. I'm just going to shut this door behind me. So with the back garden area... You've got a nice patio section that's just here for you to sit down and enjoy the, uh, the sun when it comes through. There is the garden pond. I'm going to take you for a walk down the path as well too, just to sort of get a feel for it all. Uh, in fact, while I'm on the way down there, 
This here is the side door that goes through to the garage. I'm not going to show inside the garage because again, it's still got um, bits and bobs there with the owners. Um, but if you want to see further, obviously you can come in and uh, arrange a viewing. Got a little pathway then that goes around to the greenhouse, just situated off the back of the garage. This nice little winding brick path that leads down to the bottom area where you've got an additional storage shed. There's a section just there as well too. Get you an angle just looking at the back of the house. And then this here, I should point out just in case anybody's noticed, there is a little gate that's there. And he has used this as a sort of uh, storage area for bits and bobs so they're out of the way of the garden. But obviously if you wanted to, you could encompass that back into your main garden itself as well. If I work backwards from here, you'll be able to see it is just fenced off. So by taking that fence section away, you've got your two sheds that are just there. Take that fence section away and you've got an additional section of garage should you need it itself as well. So that there is the property in its entirety. If you want to have any further details or information about the house, feel free to give us a call 02476 694 333 and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, have a good day.